All right, so we're officially in beta for OS 6. Um, so there's a new thread um, on the Crucible for the uh, beta testing. So if you want to help out with beta testing, um, definitely go read the beta thread. Um, there's also a lot of documentation. So I've gotten a few questions. Um, everything is, is either in the thread on the Crucible or um, on the Countdown to Profit OS 6. I have each of the new features that I've been responsible for. Um, I have documentation links with all the descriptions for setup, uh, for how to use, etc. Um, so there is a lot to read, so if you want to help out with beta testing, you definitely want to read everything first. You don't want to just jump in. Um, if you have questions, if you have feedback, if you run into issues during testing, um, post everything in the Crucible, because the idea of that beta thread is that we're keeping track of what people are finding and or fixes. Um, another thing uh, I'm getting some questions on for people who haven't ever done beta testing before. Um, Beta testing is meant to find, um, you know, what's working, uh, what is working, what isn't working, and fix it quickly. So if somebody posts something um, that they find, it's usually going to be fixed pretty quickly. That means if you're helping the test, you got to keep up with that thread because if we've already found and fixed something, um, you need to then go get the updated version of the OS and then continue testing. We don't necessarily need to find the same thing twice, and we also don't need... Um, so you're going to have to, if you're part of beta testing, you're going to be uploading the OS a lot. Um, you know, unless there's no bugs, which would be awesome. But um, the expectation is that you're going to have to keep track of that thread and make sure that you're pulling down the latest versions of the OS every time something gets reported and fixed. Um, so that's just something people are uh, using a little bit. We're using a little bit older version in alpha, not realizing that the fix had already been put in place and they didn't bother to get the new one so you are going to do a lot of updating so if you're not interested in, in that kind of uh, keeping up with everything and all that you're probably going to want to wait for full release um, but so all the information is going to be up there now during alpha testing um, I actually added a few features that just got put in for beta um, so I wanted to just show them quickly um, and then I am for the one button users um, there was a user in alpha who kind of had a combination of things that let them get choreography mode in. Um, I'm going to take a look at that during beta. So during beta, I'm going to play around with maybe shifting a few controls for one button to see if I can fit choreography and rehearsal in. So um, it looks like it might be possible. It might get a little finicky, um, so I have to play with it. Um, but right now, there still isn't going to be choreography and rehearsal in one button. But through the course of alpha te uh, beta testing, I'm going to try to get it in. And then, of course, I'll note it uh, if I do get it working. Um, but so if you're looking to use one button, um, everything else is in there already. Um, I may have to adjust a few controls just so that I can try to fit in the choreography mode. Um, but I am going to look at that during the beta testing step. Um, so there still might be some changes coming to the prop for one button there and if we find anything for two button. Um, but so I wanted to show the new feature. So... Um, the first and foremost, um, in my prop file for both one button and two button now, I've broken out um, changing the font and changing the style to be an on-the-fly option um, with or without the edit mode menu. So um, to do all the major editing, to do all the fine-tuning, you do need the edit mode menu, or you can hook to PropEOS uh, Workbench if you have WebUSB enabled. Um, and that's all covered in documentation. Um, but I was able to actually set it up so that now, whether or not you have the edit mode menu, you can still, you'll be able to do color change, which you've always been able to do, but now you'll be able to do style changes and font changes on the fly. Now, the on the fly options are a little different than edit mode because they don't have the ability for the menu. Um, the menu is, is, is a multi-layered menu. There's no way to really easily break stuff out, but I was able to make it so um, with or without the edit mode menu, you can still do font, style, and color changes. So I'm going to show that. So um, we'll do style first. So while your saber's on, this is the new control. This is two button. Uh, one button, just look up the control in the prop file um, to change styles on the fly. It's going to be a one style per. To go forward in styles, your blade is going to be parallel or up. To go backward, you're going to be pointing down. And you want to be pointing down uh, for most of the point down. I've made it so that's a little bit more of a... a specific point down versus kind of just slightly down so if it's not working at, at a you know kind of a 45 angle bring it down to like a 30 or, or under angle um, and just find it depends on the orientation of your board um, but so to go forward one style per uh, usage 
parallel up to go backward to style, you're going to point down. It's going to be holding your aux button and a long click on power. If you just hold aux button and click power, you do color change. Um, if you hold the aux button and do a long click on power, you'll get a style change. Now, this is different from edit mode in that this will change all blades, one style per click. So, um, because of that, it also has a very slight pause depending on the number of blades. Um, in edit mode, we do the style change one blade at a time, so you can actually mix and match. Um, in order to make it work for an on-the-fly, it's going to do all your blades. So, uh, two blades, it's going to take slightly longer than one blade. Three blades would take slightly longer than that. And it's just because of what has to happen. But to change your styles now, so it's going to be in two button, it's a hold aux, long click on power. And you'll be able to change your style on the fly. Um, and we'll do one more. So you're now able to change styles on the fly. And this is going the same as the edit styles in edit mode. It's just doing it all at once. Um, and it's not doesn't have the access to the dial. Now to change fonts, we're going to turn our saber off. It's actually the same button control. Both um, one button and two button, I use the same button control for style and font. The difference is whether your saber is on or off. To change fonts, your saber is going to be off. Now, changing the font. This will have a pause in it, and it depends on how many fonts you have on that SD. If you have a lot of fonts on your SD, there is a noticeable pause because the uh, we have to actually scan the whole SD card each time. Edit mode does it a little differently, so edit mode doesn't have nearly as much of a pause, but again, we don't have access to the menu during this on the fly. Um, but so same, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a hold aux, long click on power. If you're parallel or up, you're going to go forward a font. If you're pointing down, you're going to go backwards a font. Now, the ordering of the fonts is a little different. The ordering of the fonts is based on the order that the SD card indexes. Um, so, and it's always going to be the same order. We actually, the, the way the font change works, it doesn't know what your current font is because the font is actually a name. It's not numeric. Um, so it's going to go from the very first font it finds on the SD card, forward or back, depending on what is on the SD card. Um, but so the change will be holding aux, long click power. Oops. I went into track player. I wasn't holding my aux button, so it takes a second. But then you'll get your font change. Now, font changes are always going to play font.wave, so you want to make sure you have a unique font.wave for each font. But you'll be able to change fonts with the saber off. It's a hold aux, long click power. So now you can do font changes on the fly with your saber off. And then color change is the same. So color changes while you're on, you hold aux, click power versus a long click. Um, and the long click is just hold it for a second and release. Um, you don't want to hold it too long because there are other controls. But so... Those are now added to my um, prop file. So with my prop, whether you have the menu active or not, you're going to get your, um, you're going to be able to do style change, font change, and color change um, all on the fly. Um, and now there's one more addition I did. This is an edit mode edition. I'm um, actually got to turn it off. I'm going to go into edit mode. So for your edit fonts, edit tracks, or edit blade length, I've added an increment control. What that means is normally each turn of the dial is going to increment one either forward or back. Um, now in edit mode, if you hold the power button and turn right, it's actually going to increment forward five spots. If you hold the power button and turn left, it's going to increment back five spots. And this is for fonts, this is for tracks, and it's for blade length. Um, and what that is, is if you, again, if you have a lot of fonts, this way instead of going one per turn, you can actually jump. Um, it also works in the presets menu, which uses, if you use the scroll presets, um, which is why your saber's off, you can hold the power button, turn right to jump ahead five presets. You can hold the power button, turn left to jump back five presets. Um, but I did add that, so that is another new feature. So I'm going to actually go to blade length because it's the easiest to show. Exit. Delete presets. Copy presets. Edit settings. So go edit settings. Select option. Edit brightness. Edit blade length. So we're going to do edit blade length. Select blade. I'm going to choose One. the first blade. All right. And there's a white pixel at the end. Um, so now I'll just let the saber talk. So right now if I'm turning left, because 125 is the max on this one, um, you're gonna, it's going to go by ones. 123. 
But now, if I hold the power button and turn left, it's actually going to go by fives. So this allows you to do bigger jumps in the editing, particularly blade length, but also if you have a layout fonts, if you have a lot of tracks, um, and then in presets menu, um, if you have a lot of presets. Um, and then to go forward by fives, you'll just hold power button and turn right. And then, obviously, we're going to go... If you do, it won't let you go over max. Maximum setting, 125. But this will allow you to jump through your blade lengths, jump through fonts, jump through tracks. Um, but it is, each turn, you hold the power button while you do turn. If you let go, if you do a turn without the power button, it returns itself to the one uh, per step. So um, just another addition to kind of help with navigation and help with controls. Um, and that's in edit mode and also the scroll presets. So those are two brand new features. Let me get out of this. I'll save it. Save settings menu. And let's get out of this. Cancel main menu. Exit. All right, so those are the new features um, just for beta. So they were not part of Alpha, so we'll get them tested through beta. Um, and then again, I am going to look at the one button to see if we can squeeze in. Uh, choreography and rehearsal um, and uh, we'll keep updating but definitely read through everything if you want to help with beta um, and definitely keep up with the beta thread um, that way you know when changes are made when there's new stuff to test um, but we're moving forward hopefully beta testing goes quickly um, and we don't find too much wrong and then we'll be in full release which I know is what everybody's hoping for so um, big thanks to Frederick big thanks to those who did help with alpha testing um, and we're getting closer so I'm really excited and uh, hope you enjoy